Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So recently I've been playing a lot of DayZ and one of the questions I've been asked is how do you go about jumping onto modded servers? Because a friend of mine was asking me this the other night saying, I really don't understand what I need to do. I've got to grab all these mods from Steam. And I said, whoa, 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 let me stop you there. Just come to this web page and grab this little application, which is what I use all of the time. So you come to the daisylauncher.com page. Don't worry, I'll put the link in the description for you down below. So you just come here, you click on download. And once it's downloaded, you just run this executable. I'm not gonna do that because I've already done it. So I'll cancel out and I don't need this anymore. I'm just gonna run the application because as you can see, it's installed. So double click on it. And here's the issue that you'll have. The app doesn't run unless Steam is running at the same time. So we'll just click on okay, because this is a very simple fix. And we will just run Steam. Let's just get it up and running. Just click on it. Okay, so here is Steam. We'll just move this out of the way for the moment. We don't actually need it just yet. Now we can launch the application. Okay, and this is what we see here. We see a bunch of different servers. Now, you can do a couple of things. You can just scroll down this list of servers and see ones you'd be interested in jumping on, or you could do a search via the maps, or you could actually do a search via a name. Like for example, I play on the Musty Gusset server a lot. So I do a search for Musty, there you go, and here it is. And then what I do is favorites it. So I've already done that. So you can see, boom, there you go. That's in my favorites list. Now, if I just want to show my favorite servers I like to play on the most, I just do that and it brings them all up here. These ones here, these yellow ones, these are all sponsored servers. So it's not great. I wish I could get rid of them because I don't play on any of these. But, you know, I think if they're sponsoring the, uh, the free service that is DayZ Launcher, you know, more power to them. Anyway. Now that I want to play on a server and I want to play on a modded server, what do you need to do next? Well, the first thing you really need to do is come here to settings, okay? So as you can see here, you've got to put in the standalone path to the DayZ game. So this is where it's going to install all of the mods. So this is going to be on your hard drive somewhere. And as you can see, it's on my F drive. If you don't know how to find this, okay, I'll show you quickly because this is why we need Steam again. We'll just bring it up, okay. And I'm just going to go into my library and I'm going to go into DayZ. Okay. And it says it's running. That's because it's also, it's already associated to the launcher. So when the launcher's on, it always shows DayZ is running. So there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. So let's just bring up the DayZ page. Come over here to the little management cog. Scroll down to manage. Browse local files. Okay. And this gives you your path. Okay. So if you didn't know your path, that's how you find it. And I'll just show you again. Let me just close that down. As you can see, same path. So F drive, Steam, Steam apps, common, Daisy. Okay. So just, you know, drill down and find it that way manually. Right. Once you've done that, it's pretty much it. You can put in your in-game name. You can change that if you want. Now let's just get rid of this because we don't need that anymore. I've shown you the filters. One of the nice features I like is if you've played on a server, but you don't remember the name, if you just click on played on, it will show you any of the sort of recent servers you've played on. So if you want to then make it a favorite, if you enjoyed it, you could then highlight it. Right. So what's the last thing? Well, obviously you want to play on modded servers. So let me just pick one of these that I've never played on because how do you get the mods onto your PC to play DayZ? Well, you find the server, you click on this little chevron, the arrow, hit play and then it's going to tell you oh all these mods are missing so do you want them you click ok and then it starts updating all the mods for you automatically and if you go over to steam again let's bring it up again you can see it started downloading there you go, automatically starts downloading and then once the downloads are finished you just go back in click on the on the server on the arrow there and just join the server. And that is all there is to playing modded servers for DayZ. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next video. Stick around, watch something else. But until next time, my friends, this is Hipkel, signing off.